A number of citizens have a great deal of passion about this issue. Uh, unfortunately, the facts cited by Mr. Ely are um, um, not exactly accurate on a couple of respects, and I'd like to clarify those. Uh, number one, it simply is not as simple as changing the words in the underlying ordinances in order to correct the effect of the BZA appeal. Unfortunately, the BZA, in its decision, um, in my view, as well as the view of outside counsel and others, other attorneys that I have consulted, um, ignored some very, very basic principles of underlying law, um, including the charter, the Dillon rule, and uh, the statutes of the city. For those reasons, the city is unfortunately, in my view, put in a difficult position of having to appeal this decision uh, simply in order to clarify those underlying principles of law. Um, if there was an attempt to change the language of the zoning ordinance as recommended by Mr. Ely, it would itself be a text amendment. It would then put the city in the position of having to respond to any potential. It would be a text amendment that would then be subject to this broadened uh, petition and appeal process that the BZA, um, for the very first time, said should apply. It would therefore get the city in a endless cycle of appeal and litigation within the BZA and the circuit court. Consequently, um, the city is just simply in a position where we've got to clarify that as an underlying matter. Otherwise, we find ourselves in this endless cycle of litigation. And I know there are those in the community who disagree with that, but um, that is, is my analysis. It has been the analysis of my outside counsel and other lawyers in the community with whom I've consulted. Uh, so I'm very comfortable with that position. Second of all, uh, the BZA is a party to this uh, action uh, for the sole purpose of providing the record. It is in it is in effect not a true legal party to the proceeding. The statutes, the charter are all very clear on this point. The BZA's sole role is to be a party simply to transmit the record. As my office has advised the BZA because of that, the BZA does not need to have counsel. This very same issue was litigated a number of years ago in Fairfax County uh, under similar circumstances, and Fairfax County took the exact same position, um, that because the BZA was not a separate legal entity and it was a party simply for purposes of providing the record, it therefore does not require legal counsel. Uh, in fact, in the Fairfax County case, um, the status of the BZA was clarified because the BZA attempted to sue Fairfax County in order to force Fairfax County to provide it with counsel. One of the underlying principles of law decided in that case stated that the BZA was not a separate legal entity and therefore could not even sue Fairfax County to get legal counsel. All of that to say, the BZA simply does not need counsel um, after con consultation with the city manager and I explained all of the legal issues that I've just described. He and I have concluded that the BZA do not need separate legal counsel and it is the city's position at this point that we will not incur the expense of providing them such outside counsel. Um, I think that responds to most of the, the legal issues that I wanted to uh, clarify, Mr. Mayor, and I'd be happy to answer any questions that you or any member of council may have on these issues. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. City Attorney, and <clears throat> certainly, um, Bert, to you and, and, and all the citizens of, of this city, um, the, the city government, the city council, we don't envy su um, suing uh, any of our appointed boards or commission, um, but um, certainly in, in my tenure, 18 years on the city council, this is the first time I believe we've ever done such, but um, we have the responsibility as the city attorney, it's so indicated, to protect the integrity and the, and, and, and the process of decision making um, and, and as we move forward. And so um, um, while others may have differences of opinion, we certainly uh, take the advice of our legal counsel in terms of um, what we do to, uh, again, protect those rights. Um, so thank you for bringing that to our attention. Thank you. We'll see you in court. Before I call the next speaker,